Jerusalem. Over 3,000 years ago, when King David made Jerusalem the capital of the Jewish people of Israel, there was no Palestinian people. When King Solomon built the first Jewish temple in Jerusalem, there was no Palestinian people. When the Babylonians broke through the city walls of Jerusalem and destroyed the first temple, there was no Palestinian people. When the Romans destroyed the second Jewish temple in Jerusalem, there was no Palestinian people. When the Roman emperor renamed the land of Israel Palestine as a way to punish the Jews, there was no Palestinian people. When the Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, Malmuks, Ottomans conquered the land of Israel, even then, After World War I, when the Allied powers divided the territories formerly controlled by the Ottoman Empire and recognized the right of the Jews to their homeland and gave the Arabs the rest of the land in the Middle East, there was no Palestinian people. When the Jordanians occupied the eastern part of Jerusalem after Israel's War of Independence in 1948 and ruled it for 19 years, no one called to establish a Palestinian state with Jerusalem as a capital because, all right, we think you get the point. But then, in the 1960s, out of nowhere, a Palestinian people emerged. But from where? Here's a quote from Zuhir Muqsan, a senior member of the Palestine Liberation Organization. There's no such thing as a separate Palestinian people. There's no difference between Jordanians, Palestinians, Syrians. The Palestinian identity exists only for tactical reasons. The creation of a Palestinian state is a new instrument in our ongoing war against the state of Israel and for the purpose of our Arab unity. In short, Jewish history has been appropriated. The name Palestine, which was given by the Romans to the land of Israel 600 years before the Arab conquest of the region, was appropriated. There is a concerted effort to erase Jewish history and to delegitimize the state of Israel. Don't be fooled. Learn the facts and share the truth. <laughs>